Hey, it's Andrew Huang. I kind of stumbled onto this interesting bass sound when I was working on my latest single, uh, and I just thought I would share this weird combination of little techniques and tips that led to this sound. Here's a little taste. So that's my song Oblivion. It's out everywhere right now. Uh, link in the description. Here's what the bass sounds like on its own. A buddy of mine who's a producer thought this was a synth bass when he heard it. Let me show you all the steps I ended up taking to get there. First of all, this doesn't have to be a part of it. I played the bass at either uh, two-thirds speed or half speed, can't remember. I'm just, I can't play that fast, so. And that tightened up the sound a bit because, um, you know, the, the strings would decay a little faster when sped up, but also, just to emphasize that even more, I use the uh, transient control in Ableton. So if I put this up to 100, it's kind of like what it was at normally. And as I drag that down, it tightens up the decay of each note. And I guess just for context, here is uh, the raw bass sound, no effects on it, and no Speed. change. Me trying my best, very slow. So the first thing I did is something I often do with my bass sounds, which is to split the low and high frequencies and then apply some distortion just to the lows. And I have another video about parallel processing where I show how to do this low high split. So I'll link to that if you wanna find out more about this. But basically we get a completely phase accurate representation of the whole sound, but I can apply effects to just the lows or just the highs. So on the lows, I've got a stock Ableton saturator adding a whole bunch of distortion. And the reason I do it like that is because if I distorted the highs, it would be a lot noisier. Now just on the lows again. Then the next thing that I did, again, something that I do on a lot of my tracks, I have these low and high sends set up that I send multiple things from my mix into just for like what I want more low end presence in, what I want more high end presence in. And it's literally just shelving EQs going into saturators. In the case of the uh, low end one, I put a mono on it. It's a good idea to keep the real low end stuff in mono. And just cause I was messing around, I started pushing this bass sound to the high saturator and then I just liked it and kept on going until it was maxed out. So uh, here it is without that high saturator. And then with it. So I get a bit more bite, but I'm still retaining that cleanliness of the sound because um, again, if we compare it to just saturating the whole sound. Doesn't sound bad. I might use that in a different context, but it definitely feels less polished. Now for even more juice, I ended up throwing on an iHeart New York compressor. So that just gives all the notes a more consistent presence. And then later in the song, I did this weird thing, putting an envelope follower on at the very beginning of my bass chain before any of the distortions. So it's just following the amplitude of my playing. And then I put on the sauce. Really love this plugin for pitch shifting and formant shifting. And I applied the envelope follower to the formant shift. So it's just the weird way that I landed on in this particular context to give that bass sound a little more bite without resorting to just like cranking up some highs in the EQ or adding more distortion. Um, I felt like this was something that sat a little bit better in the mix. And there's this really unique overall bass sound that came out of all this that I love. Um, and I know some of these steps were a bit subtle, but I think it all adds together into this sound. And uh, just a reminder, this is what we started with. Like that is uh, objectively bad. I'm kind of embarrassed. Music production. Hope this video gave you some ideas. Check out Oblivion. It's out everywhere now. And I'm planning on doing a full video breaking it all down because uh, it was a nutty project. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on. I'll post that soon. Thanks so much for watching today. I'll see you later.